Dennis Scott and Michael Swearingen families, they say they finally received justice after that capital murder, that uh, uh, death penalty uh, reading. That's right. And they've been waiting four years again, like we said, to now have closure and both of the families were able to speak their piece. Fox 44's PJ Hesner joins us now live in the studio to highlight what they're taking away from this experience. PJ. Thanks, Adam. Well, in closing statements, the victim's family members had the chance to look Cedric Marks in the eye. Some told him he was a psychopath, a master manipulator, and a narcissist. But all of them said they pray he finds God. And Deborah Harrison, Michael Swearingen's mom, forgave him for what he did to her son. My flesh does not want to forgive. But with God's help, I've come to the point that I can forgive him as a person. After four years, Deborah Harrison can rest knowing her son's killer is paying for his crimes. I don't forgive the act of murder that he did and the pain that he inflicted on my baby. But, but I forgive him because I need to be forgiven so I can go to heaven. On May 24th, Marks was found guilty of capital murder and the killings of Jenna Scott and her friend Michael Swearingen back in 2019. Today, all 12 jurors agreed Cedric Marks should be put to death. Today, we have victory. The sentencing was closure for the victim's family members, especially for Jenna Scott's brother, Talon Scott, who says today he feels good. Knowing that Cedric won't be able to do this to anyone else, feel, that, feels, that feels good. He says it's been a long, hard, traumatizing journey. But we got there. We saw it through. And now I guess it's time to, time to celebrate. He says today the families have won this battle. But if you're the victim in an abusive relationship and you don't speak up. They'll win. You'll, su you're su you'll succumb to their violence. Just don't be silent. At the end, Harrison said her family and Scott's have launched a nonprofit, Priceless Beginnings, to support children who've experienced domestic violence. They said they did build a legacy of love for Mike and Jenna. We'll have a link to the website on fox44news.com. In the studio, PJ Hessner, Fox 44 News. Thanks, PJ.